So we have seen how to set up uh, our Python. So you have to download and install Python from python.org site. Okay. So you can verify the uh, installed version by typing just Python or Python space double hyphen version. Okay. So you can and you can use IDEs to write code like PyCharm, VS Code, Sublime Text. Okay, so you can simply search on the website and download. Okay, to use them. Okay, or simply for starting purpose, you can write your Python code in Notepad also. Okay, so this is our first uh, first Python program that we have written and saved in .py extension file. Okay, so and to run that program, we have to use Python space and the file name .py. Okay, so that we will get the desired output on our output, a desired output on our uh, command line. Okay, so let's move on to the next topic, variables in Python. Okay, so what is a variable in programming language? Okay, so program in programming language, variable is a name and location to store data in memory. Okay, so let's see uh, some explanation about this so these are some important topics in python so that's why we have to discuss this in deep okay so variables Okay, so in Python, variables are location addresses to store data. Okay, so in any programming languages, we have to store some data, right? So, or we have to work, work on some data. Okay, so to store the data, so we so that data will be stored in a memory location okay for example i want to store some name raja in my programming okay so that will be stored in a memory location okay so this uh, for in further programming if i want to use this raja name so i, ha I should have some reference right so using that reference I, I can call this okay so for that so the reference will be its memory location address okay again this memory location address is not human uh, readable okay which is a some code uh, location code okay just like our longitude and latitude so there will be some memory address okay for that we will give in a mask name okay which is called as variable name okay so for this, so if I want to store this uh, name Raja, so I will store in a variable called as name equal to Raja. Okay, so that so this is the uh, variable name and this is the variable data. Okay, I assigned this data to this variable using this equal to sign. Okay, so like this I have assigned, I have created a variable in my Python. Okay, so variables are used to store data okay so here this name is the reference for your memory location of this raja in memory okay so these are variables okay so variables are used to store data and this variable names are the references to the stored data okay so using this name we can call this this uh, this data anywhere in your programming okay So here you can see that uh, I have stored x equal to 10, name equal to Alice, is active equal to true. Okay, so we'll discuss them further in data types. Okay, so there are some naming rules. Okay, so we have created name. Okay, so name, uh, there are some naming rules. Okay, which are uh, name must start with a letter or an underscore. Okay, so when we are creating a variables, so that name should start with either a letter 
which means all the alphabets or underscore okay which means you cannot start a name with numbers or special symbols okay so you can either you have you can start that name either using a letter which means alphabet character or another underscore okay and uh, this name can contain letters numbers and underscores okay and not other special symbols okay so and these names are case sensitive which means the small letters age and this cop uh, capital letters age are two different variables okay so which means so previously uh, we have declared a variable called as name equal to raja right so this is the name okay variable name okay so and this variable name say, uh, this variable ha name have some rules okay so those rules are you cannot start this name with you can uh, start this name with either alphabets or underscore which means we can start like this name okay age okay gender okay only in these two ways you can start uh, create your variable names okay there are wrong ways okay like this is like to name okay age dollar symbol okay gender percentile okay so by using special characters okay so you cannot start a name by number okay and you cannot start a name by special symbol other uh, other special symbols other than underscore okay so you can start either using alphabet that can be capital letter or small letter okay and you can start with underscore okay with uh, other than these two you cannot use like numbers special uh, special symbols to create a variable name okay this is the first rule okay you can start either with alphabets or underscore okay and the second rule is uh, this names can have only alphabets numbers and underscores okay for example uh, there is a two letter alpha uh, two letter uh, two words name okay for example i want to store first name okay so this can be separated by underscore this is called as snake case first name ram okay second name okay so like this so you can separate two words by using under underscore okay so this will be the variable name this is accepted variable name okay but you cannot create like dollar symbol name okay so you can use this names like number num 1 okay num 2 you can integrate numbers in your variable names but not at starting position okay in middle you can use numbers okay but not at the starting position as per our rule number 1 okay in rule number 2 you can all you can use only these three types of characters to construct names okay alphabets numbers and underscores okay these numbers cannot be in the first position okay but it these can be in the middle or end okay but not in the first position okay so these are the rules you have to remember while creating variable names okay so let's see some examples of creating variable names so that you will so let's see on command prompt okay name or first name equal to mahesh okay last name equal to okay and age age equal to 
okay gender gender equal to male okay height equal to 6.2 okay so like this you can create variables okay so this variables num uh, names can be anything okay so here we have created age equal to 50 right in the same way if i create age equal to 27 okay so if i access age i get 50 okay and if i access age i get 27 though these two names are same but there are there are the difference is case okay so here i have used small case okay but here i have used capital case so which means so python is a case sense to language that so if you declare a variable with small letters it will be considered as a different variable and the declared variable with age will be considered uh, capital letters will be considered as a different variable different variable because python is a case sensitive language which means it differentiates small letters and capital letters okay so using this uh, you can create two different variables using the same name okay so this is how we can create variables in our python okay and these are the three rules that you have to remember while creating variables okay so first one is you cannot create variable names uh, you can create variable names uh, with starting only alphabets or underscores okay and the second rule is you can include only alphabets numbers and underscores in your variable names okay and third rule is python is a case sensitive language that uh, uh, variable names with small letters and capital letters will be considered as a two different variable names okay two different variables okay these are the rules you have to remember okay so next topic is data types so in python there are uh, different sections of data types which are numeric types so in numeric types we have int float complex okay and the second type is string type so which is str which which is used to uh, hold text data boolean type okay so boolean type is used to uh, store logical data like true or false okay sequence types okay there are in sequence types there are list tuple and range in mapping type we have dictionary and in set types we have set frozen set and in binary types you have bytes byte array memory view and and finally none type okay which have none type okay so before understanding data types okay so data types are different types of data that we can store in our programming language okay so previously we have seen we have seen in command prompt that we have stored name data okay mahesh katamani age uh, 20 age 50 okay so like that we have stored different types of different types of data so like text data we have stored number data we have stored okay float data we have stored okay so data types are the different types of data uh, types types of data that a program language supports okay so python supports these types of data type these types of data in your programming okay so before understanding this data types you have to understand that python is a dynamically typed language okay so dynamically typed language in the sense we don't have to declare the type of data we are assigned so previous if you observe previously in the this section in the command prompt section that we didn't mention that what type of data we are declaring okay so python is a dynamically type language okay so dynamically type language in the cells in the sense so in other programming languages if you are declaring a variable okay so if you are act, if you are adding some data to your programming so you have to declare what type of data is that for example if i want to store uh, a name in a variable in other languages like java c language okay so you have to mention string okay my name equal to Rajesh. Okay. So to store age, you have to mention 
a int age 33 okay so if you want to store uh, height you have to use like double height 6.2 okay so like this you have to uh, mention the what type of data you are going to store in this particular variable okay so these are data types okay so string is used to store collection of characters okay so int is used to store numbers okay so double is used to store fractional numbers okay so with decimal points okay so like this uh, in other languages we have to mention the type okay but in python we don't have to mention the type okay so it will automatically detect the type by the data we assign to that variable okay so for example if i assign my name to uh, rajesh to this my name variable so python automatically considers this data type as string okay and again if i change this my name to 23 okay so this data this data type will be changed to int okay so this uh, the data type of this variable will be decided by the data we are assigning to this variable okay so if i assign uh, numbers value to this data type so the respect to number value data type will be assigned to this data uh, variable okay if i assign a string of characters then it will assigned as a then it will be declared as a string okay this is an automation process okay so whatever the data we are assigning to this variable so that data type will be automatically allot allotted to this uh, this variable that's why it's called as dynamically typed language okay in other languages we have to mention the uh, data type that we are going to use okay there is some disadvantage of this that's uh, which means uh, in other languages for example if, if we have some baskets okay so for example these are called uh, this baskets are used to store mangoes okay and these uh, baskets are used to store flowers okay so in other languages if there are baskets for mangoes i am only I, <coughs> I can only store mangoes in this basket okay so if there is a basket of flowers in other languages i can store only flowers in this basket i cannot store mangoes in this basket because it will not accept okay if i declared a variable with a string i can only store string data okay if i declare a variable with int i can store only int data okay same way so if uh, there is a ba basket particularly for a particular thing so those particular things only can be stored in this basket but in python there will be simply one basket okay open basket we can store anything okay so if you store mangoes in this basket it will be called as mangoes basket okay so if you store flowers in this basket it will be called as flowers in basket okay so if you store some biscuits it will be called as biscuits basket okay like this so this type will be the the type of basket will be declared by storing what content you are storing in that basket okay by not storing the respective content in the basket okay so this is the difference between statically typed languages and dynamically typed languages okay so python is a dynamically typed languages that variables types will be declared by the data we are assigning to that variable okay So these are the uh, all the available data types in our Python that they support. Let's see them briefly one by one. So first one is numeric data types. Okay, so numeric data types are the types of number data that we can store in our Python. Okay, so first is integer. Okay, so integer values are the real numbers that we use in our daily uh, daily life. Okay, so which is a equal to five. Okay, so a is equal to thirty three. Okay. Uh, mileage equal to 23 okay like that uh, what are the numbers we are using are called as integers okay next one is float okay so float is a floating point numbers 
in other language it's called as double or float okay so this is a float which is used to store dynamic uh, sorry decimal data okay so decimal points data will be uh, considered as floating point okay and there is complex okay so in your schooling you may, you may have dealt with the complex numbers right uh, real number real number and imaginary part okay so he, those numbers also can be uh, stored in python using this complex data type so if we assign 1 plus 2j so it will be considered as a complex number okay so this one will be the real part and this 2j will be the imaginary part okay so we, these are the number types that are available in python we can store in variables okay so this a b c are the variable names so the type of this variable name will be uh, attached by the data we are assigning okay next which is uh, next one is a string data type okay so string data type is used to store sequence of characters okay so sequence of characters can be uh, stored in quotations okay so you can store either in single quotations double quotations or triple quotations okay so single and double quotations are used for uh, storing single line data okay triple line uh, triple line quotations are used for storing large text of data uh, triple quotes are used to store large te large text of data so that i will show practically okay so to store sequence of characters in a variable you can use quotations okay so this data type is called string okay which is sequence of characters this can be any characters okay all the available characters on your keyboard can be used to write this code uh, write this text okay and next one is boolean type okay so boolean type represents only two types of data so either true or false for example so here is sunny true is rainy false okay so like that to assign a logical uh, data like true or false you can use this boolean type okay so this have only two types of data which is true or false okay so this is mainly used for uh, in logical expressions like for example whether a user is logged in or not okay to check something okay in that purpose we use boolean data types okay and next one is sequence data types okay sequence data types are uh, there are three first one is list list is a ordered collection of items okay so if you want to store multiple uh, items in a single variable so you can use list okay so in this you can store items you can create a list by using square brackets okay so in square brackets if you store multiple items so this will, this will be called as sequence of items which is called as list so and the data type can be anything okay it's not it's like array in other languages in other languages if you declare an array of particular type you can store only that particular type of data in that array but in python so we have list so in this list you can store any type of data okay and it also accept mixed type of data okay for example here here you can see that apple banana cherry okay and i can also store different type of, different types of data like apple 23 33.7 okay false okay complex numbers all the available data types you can store collectively or separately or in, uh, like, uh, as per your convenient okay so these are called as lists okay and next one is tuple okay so tuple is ordered immutable collection of items okay so this is also similarly used for uh, used to store multiple types of data just like list the difference between list and tuple is so list data is mutable which means we can change the data once we created the data we can change it like like adding new da new data okay like deleting data updating data we can do all those functions on list okay but to tuples are immutable immutable in the sense once we have created data we are not able to change the data we are only we, we can only use the data or replace the entire data okay so this is the difference between list and tuple okay and next one is range so range is used to generate a uh, range of numbers for example if i want to generate some 0 to 5 numbers then i can use this range of five okay so it will generate sequence of numbers so that i can use those numbers in looping conditions okay so this is these are the three types of sequence sequence in the sense so it, these are able to store multiple data 
okay so these are uh, these are the sequence data types next one is mapping data type okay so mapping sir, data can type I ask you yes uh, so uh, what will be the data type of range is it list sorry uh, i'm asking uh, what is the type of uh, that numbers this numbers yes coordinates right you are asking about coordinate coordinates example right uh, no sir i am uh, numbers numbers variable numbers you are asking about this section uh, no sir uh, just what what will, what will return uh, the range function range function will re uh, return uh, range object okay but it is not uh, readable to read that object you have to convert into list okay oh, okay okay so it, uh, yeah generally it is not used to generate uh, it uh, for example if you want to run a for loop for some five times then in that in that time you can use range range of five okay so that uh, that for loop will run time uh, run for five times or if you want to generate some numbers from 2 to 10 or 2 to or uh, some some from starting position to ending position using range you can generate and you have to convert that into a list by for, by passing to list of method so that you that will be readable uh, if you ge simply generate with range it will be not readable okay so it will be like uh, it will it will return a range object okay so that can be accessed only by loops. If you want to read that, you, can, you have to convert either to list or tuple. OK, sir. Don't worry. I will, I will show the examples. Don't worry. So next one is dictionary. So dictionary is a collection of key value pairs. So, OK, so previously, so we simply uh, stored collection of items. OK, but in dictionary, so for each item, there will be some key okay it's like uh reference okay so collection of key value pairs here name is the key and its value is allies okay here age is the key and uh, value is 25 okay so like this we store data with key value key value pairs so that we can access using keys okay so these uh the there will be some separate discussion about sequence data types uh list tuples and dictionaries because these are widely used and uh while you an important topics okay so we'll specially discuss today about these three okay so dictionaries are key value pairs so here also you can store multiple data types of data so there is no restriction to particular single type of data but here key names should be uh, embedded in strings okay so this can be either strings or numbers okay so other than that you can't use any and this key name should be unique for each uh, each value okay else this will, those will be merged into one key okay so these are the keys and values so these dictionaries are created using these curly braces okay so previously if you observe uh, lists are created using the square brackets square braces and the coordinates are created with in parentheses okay and dictionaries are created using curly braces with key value pairs okay so each is a item each one is a key value item okay so next data type next data type is set data type okay we have already seen uh, sets topic in your schooling okay so these are also similar with in programming way so set is a collection of unique items okay so if uh, sets are so created using curly braces but with uh, sequence of items instead of key value pairs we store sequence of items in this uh, curly braces so the unique feature of this set is that it stores only unique data for example if i repeat two uh, if i repeat three two times in this set so it will consider only one time okay so it will automatically uh, if I, when after declaring this, if I call uh, again unique numbers, it will show only three for one time. That is also first appearance. Okay, if I repeat this three after this five, 
so it will not consider it because it is a duplicate data okay so which means so this set stores only unique items okay and the second one is frozen set so frozen set is like immutable version of set value pairs okay this is also similar to set but frozen which means so in this set i can update add data uh, delete data i can do all those ta tasks but this frozen set is like a fixed set okay i can't change the data but it will hold the features like it is also used to hold the unique data just like set okay so just like uh, list and tuple so here we have set and frozen set okay and the next type is binary data type this we almost never use in our web development this is used for other uh, bit level programming like digital signal processing image processing okay in this in those fields they use these data types we generally never use these data types okay so these are bytes which are used to store binary data so if we place b before a string it will be considered as a binary data okay if you want to store multiple data uh, uh, binary data you can use binary array and for memory view okay so to store memory locations you can use memory view data type okay so these are the binary data types that are available in python we almost never use in our web development these are used for other fields like digital processing okay which are which deal with the binary data okay okay and the finally we have none type okay so none type represents the absence of a value for example if you declared a variable and for now you do if you for now you don't have you don't want to store any data in that variable you can declare that variable with value none okay or after deleting particular value so that value will be none okay so none value is used to uh, represent the absence of a value in other languages you may see that null values right so similarly so in python it is called as none okay so to represent the absence of a variable absence of a value to a particular variable you can assign none okay so these are the uh, data types that are available in python okay so that's it for today's session so any doubts from today's session